Today, I will show you how to transform your KBD67 light from its default sound like this to this. KBD67 Lite is one of the best budget Thoki keyboard of 2021 and that holds true even up to today. You can check my long-term review in this link to see why I named the KBD67 Lite the budget king of Thoki boards of 2022. In today's episode, we will be modding the KBD67 Lite to make it sound a little bit louder and a little bit more clacky while at the same time adding more flex. Now don't get me wrong, the KBD67 Lite is an amazing keyboard. It is not by any means stiff and the sound, my god, the sound is really amazing. I really like the thoughty nature of the KBD67 Lite. With my 6 months of usage, I sometimes however wonder if this keyboard can be modified to sound and feel a little bit different than what we're used to. Well, the good news is there is a way and that is what I am sharing with you today. Okay, so for today's modding guide, we will be addressing two things, changing the sound profile of the KBD67 Lite and improving the flex of this keyboard. The talky and muted sound profile of the KBD67 Lite is largely brought upon by the gasket implementation using the silicone plate dampener. This also serves as the gasket anchor. This brings about the wonderful deep tones that we get from this keyboard. This is also one of the reasons why this keyboard does not get a lot of flex because compared to the usual gasket foams, the silicone dampener offers a little flex. So how do we go about by this? Well, it's pretty easy and straightforward. Remove the silicone dampener. When you remove the silicone dampener, this will drastically change the sound of this keyboard, making it louder and less talky, a little bit more on the clacky side. However, there is a problem. Where will the PCB plate sandwich attach itself to the keyboard? Luckily, the inherent design of the plate allows us to place the D65 gasket strips on the quote-unquote feet of this plate. So I did several tries and configurations for the um, gasket mounting modification in this one. Uh, please take note that the feet on top of the USB port, you cannot put a gasket on that. So I tried using two layers of the D65 gasket strips and I even tried not filling out all of the feet, putting in some blank spaces on some of the feet to make it more flexy. However, my final configuration that I felt was the most stable was to simply put uh, gasket strips, two layers all around in every feet that you can. Um, I felt that when I skipped some of the feet, I left them blank. Uh, I felt that it became a little bit more unstable and yet the flex is pretty much the same. Do note that when you do this, you can no longer use the mute silicone dampener as this will interfere with the new gaskets that we just did. So as a result of all this modification, you will now have a KBD67 light that has more flex in it and it will sound like this.
This is really nice, right? So it's very clacky and loud while still sounding clean. Um, the typing feel is a lot softer as well and it has a lot more flex as compared to the stock configuration and a lot of you will already be very happy with this configuration. I myself had run it for several days however I wanted the sound to be more clean as for me I think it sounded a bit loose. So what I did next is I tried running it with a modified PE foam the one that you use for your electronics the white PE foam and it will sound something like this. Very nice, poppy, loud, and sounds a lot less loose. However, I wanted to refine it more. What can I do to make this setup sound more clean? Then I thought of the PE foams used in the Mr. Suit, and luckily, Zion sells these PE foam for a 65% keyboard layout. When installing this PE foam, do take note that we have to make some trims on the stabilizers part at, as it does not fit perfectly. So I had to cut out some of those edges for the stabilizers to fit in. And here's the sound test. That is by far my favorite configuration. It sounds really clean, louder and clackier than the default KBD67 setup. Okay, so there's one more thing that I want to share to you. What if you want that added flex but still maintain the talky nature of the KBD67 light? And as I told you, you cannot use the gasket silicone dampener anymore. Well, actually you can and this can be achieved if if you are a bit experimental like me. Before I did this, I made sure that I can buy a replacement silicone dampener in case I mess this up. Well, what you do is you cut out the edges of the silicone dampener so that it will no longer serve its purpose as a gasket mount, but only as a plate dampening quote-unquote foam. I used a blade, but I think a cutter would be better. Please be very careful when doing this step. This is really tricky and after several minutes, I realized that I can simply use a pair of scissors. So guys, please just use scissors. It's easier. It's quicker. Stop being stupid like me. All right.
So here's a summary of what we have done, the sound profile result. And please take note, in all of these configurations, I have a Tempest Tape 3 layer in place. The top case silicone feet are in place as I feel that removing these small feet on the top case resulted in unwanted vibrations. The lower foam is not used as for me this reduces the room for flex. Instead, I filled the empty spaces with silicone sheet. So here's the summary. With no PE foam and no mute silicone, this results in the loudest, most clacky sound. However, personally, I feel that it sounds a bit loose, but for some, I think this will be very good. The second configuration with is with the quote-unquote electronics material PE foam and no mute silicone sheet, uh, silicone dampener. Uh, it sounds louder than the default KBD profile and definitely more clacky and with the PE foam, it sounds cleaner. With the PE foam specifically designed for the keyboard and no mute silicone, it sounds clacky and loud. And among the three, this is the cleanest sound for me. It doesn't sound as loud as, as the first one that we did, but it's louder still than the default KBD67 sound profile. And lastly, with no PE foam, but with the modified mute silicone, the one that we cut out the edges, this is the KBD67's default Thoki sound signature with a little, more, a little more flex from the upgraded gasket mounting system. I do have one recommendation that I am not yet able to try out. You may try the setup without PE foam as this sounds the clackiest and try to put on a PCB foam, the real foam, all right? Uh, I ordered one from KBD Fans website and uh, it is to come, yet to come. So I think this will result in a loud clacky sound without being loose because as I've told you, the loudest and the clackiest was the one without any PE foam, just the Tempest tape. However, it sounded loose. So I think a proper PCB foam will address that. So I hope you enjoyed this modding guide and I hope this is a really good news for all of us KBD67 Lite fans out there. I never thought until I tried to experiment that this board can have a completely different profile from that of a very muted Thoki board which I really love already to that of a louder, clackier keyboard that we've made of it today. It is by no means a clacky board, but the sound profile is way different from its stock configuration. And that is what I love about mechanical keyboards. You're able to customize, you're able to explore the opportunities, you're able to, be cre to become creative in the ways that you can never think of. Your imagination is your only limitation. Well, of course, I'm exaggerating that part, all right? So again, thank you for watching. Please continue supporting this channel by hitting that like and subscribe. I want to hear your comments. I want to hear your opinion. I want to hear which configuration you like the most. This has been an overwhelming experience. A lot of guys are coming in to support the channel. Thank you very much. Please do hit that like and subscribe button. This is Talkie Doki. Thank you for watching.